Texas faces a foster care crisis that's left children searching for stable homes. With resources depleting in the colder months on the way, our Sean Dominique spoke with a foster family and facility to learn how to match these children with comfortable homes. <laughs> Fostering attracts different families for different reasons. My husband and I uh, were unable to have children after trying for 10 years. It gave Anna Thomas and her husband a second chance at having a family and gave two kids, Cannon and Sadie, a loving home. She's like daddy. About 2,000 children in East Texas are in foster care, according to Justin Hayes, executive director for the Fostering Collective. He explains how the current foster care crisis, residential treatment centers and group homes having to close during the pandemic is tormenting East Texas. Whenever a group home or a residential treatment center is shut down, then where are these children going to go? He says they've been sleeping in places like hotels and offices with Child Protective Services, but fixes like these are temporary. Hi, Granddaddy. Parents like Thomas, who have fostered, yearn for more families to open their homes. 100% do it because these kids are not ready to be removed from everything they know. So, no, it, it's going to be hard. It's going to be emotional, but it will be 100% worth it. Keep your ass on the road. You can become a foster parent by visiting the fosteringcollective.org to be connected with an agency. We've got you covered, East Texas. Shondell Moniz, CBS 19. Next Wednesday, the Fostering Collective will be hosting a launch party for their annual campaign, Be the Light, where they'll share stories, statistics, and specific ways people can support children in foster care. That'll be held at Central Baptist Church from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m.